Hi again. In this tutorial, we want to finish the pie chart widget. We want to make it so the user can input a list of values that can be converted to percents and drawn in a pie chart with a list of colors. Um, so let me zoom in here for you a little bit. And we're also going to fix the sizing on this as well. First, let's go into our pie chart widget dot h. Um, and here we're going to add a public function avoid set data and it's going to take a q vector double of values at the q vector q color of colors okay while we're here under our private slot, private section, we want to add the Q vector double QV values and the Q vector double QV colors. Okay. So that should be it for our header file for now. Let's go back into our C++ implementation file. And here, oh, we need to go back to our header real quick. Let's, let's, uh, let's refactor this function and add a definition in here. And so what's going to happen here is we're just going to QV values equals values. QV colors equals colors. Repaint. Update. This way, when those values or colors are changed, it should automatically redraw uh, and repaint this pie chart. Okay. So now what we need to do is we're going to have to redo a lot of this code here. So we still want our Q painter, but let's get rid of this. Um, we're going to redo this so it's a, a little more dynamic and easier to use. Let's uh, add a Q pen, call it pen, and a Q rect F. This is going to be our size. Pen, set color. And this is going to be black. And then pen set width is 2. And then painter set pen, pen. So this pen is going to be the lines drawn between the pieces of our pie chart. So you can make that any color you want. And now what we want to do is we want to rescale the height and width of our pie chart. Uh, to match the height and width of the widget so we don't get it cut off like we saw in the last tutorial. So this height is greater than this width then size equals Q rect F. It's going to be 5, start at 5, 5. This width minus 10 and this width minus 10. That's if the height is greater than the width. We're going to use the width so we have we want to use the smaller dimension always to create this pie chart. Else if we can just say else here actually. Um, and we'll just copy this line down. and change this to height and that should uh, take care of the other contingencies okay once our size is set we need to use those vectors of values and colors to create our pie chart so let's make a few variables here so we're going to have the sum of the, the sum of the values, which we want to set equal to zero. 
and we're going to have a start angle which we want to set equal to zero and then we also need an angle an end angle and a percent okay then we want to loop through these vectors so we'll do i is less than the values the qv values vector dot size that will give us the number of elements in the vector we'll increment i and then we'll sum we'll add the value found at this index of QV values to the sum and that will give us the sum of all the values in that vector once we have that we'll do the same thing and this time we're going to calculate the percent, which is going to equal uh, the position of the value found in QV values divided by the sum. The angle equals percent times 360. The end angle is going to equal our start angle. plus angle put a space in here so it's a little uh, easier to see and then we need to set the brush for our painter and we're going to take the color from our colors vector and once we have that we can draw our pie and we want to use size start angle times 16 angle times 16 and then we want to set our start angle equal to the end angle so the next time around um, we're starting where the, the angle left off Okay, so now what we need to do is go into our dialog.cpp here and in our constructor we want to make a Q vector color um, colors now we'll make it four long for now and we want to make a Q vector double these are the values and we'll make it four long as well and got that so let's go colors one color zero rather equals cute red colors one equals cute blue colors two equals cute green Colors three equals cute. Is there an orange? There's not an orange. Um, let's go yellow. Okay. Now we want to go values zero equals three point four. I'm just making these numbers up here. Values one equals seven point four. 
values two equals four point eight and values three equals five point one. Okay, and now what we can do is UI. Um, I'm not sure what I named this, so let's go back into my dialog and see what this is called. It's called a widget. Um, so UI, UI, widget, set data. And then we're going to give it values, colors. Now let's build this and make sure we have everything going correctly. Oh, we've got some errors. Um, hold on, let me see if I can figure out what's going on here. Okay, I made a couple of mistakes when typing here. So this first one is in the header file. Um, in your code, this will say Q vector double. It should be Q vector Q color. And then the next is going to be in the CPP file. Um, and I have this, this said values. Your code will say values. It should say value. Okay. So when we build that, everything runs correctly. We get a clean build. Now let's run it. Make sure it works. And there you go. You can see I've got this pie chart widget that will perfectly, well, not perfectly scale. I don't have a refresh thing in there when this is moved. Um, but you can see that it fits my, my dialog box and the colors are proportional uh, to the values that are put in. Uh, so there you have it. There's your there's your custom pie chart widget.